Oh my God. I farted and it was so bad. Oh. Hello everyone, my name is Lisa and I'm the Viet Vegan because I'm Viet and I'm vegan. And today we're gonna do a kind of late March favorites. I mean, it's still the first half of April, right? This counts. So there were lots of things happening this month. I got really busy. I got some stressful stuff happening. Work was a little, little nutty. I didn't have time to pull out a March favorites video for you uh, until now. So let's start with food because why not, right? So the first thing I want to mention are these bean crisps. I got these at Costco. Normally when I go to Costco, you like try them first and then you commit to a giant bag of them. But I had faith that the Costco taste testers knew what they were doing. And let me just tell you, these are like super delicious. You know those like puffy rice cake snack things? If you took those but flattened them and made them crispy and delicious, this is what they are. Just listen. They're like ever so slightly a little too salty, but they're really good. They're just made out of green split peas, yellow split peas, black beans, yellow corn, sunflower oil, and sea salt. So, mm. They're also gluten-free, which doesn't matter anymore, but that's another thing I'm gonna mention. So I was gonna make a video on gluten-free stuff, but I just never got around to it. So if you guys have been following since around Christmas, you'll know that I went gluten-free for about three months to figure out if it was helping my eczema. I don't know if I was just maybe super stressed. Gluten did not help. I had eczema breakouts pretty much just about as often as I did before, which is like maybe once out of every two weeks, I get like a little flare up. For the first couple weeks when I did cut out gluten, I did feel a little bit better. I felt like I was really, really hungry all the time, but then I think my body just adjusted to it and like I would just eat more food that wasn't gluten-y, if that makes any sense. But the problem with being gluten-free is that like a lot of the substitutes that you get, like there's, they're like devoid of any sort of protein. Like gluten is surprisingly, I mean gluten is protein. Gluten-y products, like wheat-based products, tend to be very filling and they tend to have a lot more protein than the gluten-free counterparts. And I also am nut-free, so like being gluten-free and nut-free was kind of difficult because a lot of things that were like actually good but gluten-free also had nuts or they had eggs in them. It was kind of difficult to find gluten-free vegan products within my price range, which doesn't mean that like it's impossible for a lot of people who are gluten-free and vegan. It's definitely possible. There are lots of you guys in the comments that are gluten-free, which is really cool. So I'm still going to be making gluten-free recipes whenever I can, because I do notice that like I, my digestion is a lot better when I don't have gluten anyway, but like it doesn't make a difference in my eczema. Plus I just really like gluten. <laughs> it's been a journey to try and figure out whether or not I wanted to be gluten-free. It was really difficult and like, it gave my family an extra sort of obstacle for them to get over because they're like, oh, you're already vegan, now you're gluten-free, like what can you eat? And I was kind of really overwhelmed by a lot of the restrictions and it made me really have a hard time. So one of my favorites this month is gluten because I miss gluten. And it just, it relieved a lot of pressure for me to go be able to go back to eating gluten. But like I said, since I know that there are a lot of you guys that are gluten-free, I still will be making some gluten-free recipes for you because I got you. Lately, I've been eating a lot of prunes. I don't know, not like a lot, a lot, like maybe like a handful, like maybe three or four a day. And when I first started eating them, if you guys know what prunes are, prunes are basically dried plums. They're kind of like dates, but they're not as sweet, which I kind of like, because I really love dates, but dates can be really sweet for me sometimes. So I find that these guys, prunes are the happy medium in between. These prunes that I got from Costco are a lot juicier than like the typical prunes that you guys see in grocery stores. Like they're not like the dry shovel up ones. They're really good. Plus they help with digestion, obviously, because they're prunes, so you know been good. Be aware if you do start eating prunes out of the blue, give your body a couple weeks to adjust because the first couple weeks of you eating these prunes, you gotta have a stinky time for a little bit because your body's like, whoa, fiber. And like my body's already pretty used to fiber. I remember when I first switched to vegetarian, I was eating a lot more beans and fibrous vegetables and my body was just like, what is happening? The more fiber you eat, the longer it takes for your body to digest the fiber and things gonna get a little stanky. But it's okay, it's okay, it's good for you. Another favorite of mine, you guys have seen this bottle before. This is from my Nasha taste test. This blender bottle has been amazing. Like I've only used this water bottle now. Eddie uses this kind of water bottle too. And it holds so much water. It's like 25 ounces, which is like almost a liter. So I probably drink about four, three or four of these a day, which makes me feel better. And then like, I also don't have to fill it as much, which is like the biggest problem for me to drink enough water is that like, I don't want to like get up 
fill the water bottle refill it. like it's just like this is awesome I don't have to fill the water as much and I like that I can just kind of carry it around I don't have to worry about spilling it because I've actually spilled my water a few times around my computer so that's been bad now let's move on to sort of like more lifestyle -y stuff so the first thing I want to mention is what I'm wearing right now it's my new sweater this is from beat by beat I actually met oh shit I can't remember her name I want to say her name's Jackie but I can't remember her name at all. Oh my god, I feel so terrible. I met her in LA. Yeah, it is Jackie, thank god. Oh my god. I met Jackie at Ted Lai's house when I was in LA. Uh, if you want to see that vlog, I think I include it in this video. But basically, she is the owner of Beat by Beat, which is a vegan clothing company, which is pretty awesome. So I got this shirt that says Plant Slayer. I also like how simple it is. Like, I've been lately, I've been leaning more towards like black or like darker kind of clothing, mostly black. I don't know what it is. Like, I just. That's just been my mood. This sweater is like super, super comfy. It fits really nicely. It's vegan. It's not like super in your face, like I'm vegan, but it's like, it's kind of plant slayer. Like it's funny. I don't know, I like it. So if you want a plant slayer sweater like this, I'll link it down below. Support some vegan entrepreneurs. I got another pair of leggings. They say powered by plants. Um, they're just black, plain leggings. Um, they're actually really sturdy. They are from another clothing company that's vegan called Wholesome Culture. I washed them a couple times and the screen printing is really good quality. Like it hasn't like torn up or anything like that. Oh, it's only been like a month since I got it. It is a little in your face, but like powered by plants. I'm vegan, but it doesn't actually like say like vegan on it. Now on to skin stuff. I feel like I show you guys a new lotion every single month, but it's from the same company. This is their old packaging, I think. This is the Derma E Tea Tree and E Cream. It's kind of thicker than the psoriasis cream that I had before. I find it's like very emollient and this is probably my favorite. I still use the anti-itch cream, which I showed in my last favorites video. I use the tea tree anti-itch cream for like more all over body use and I use this for the heavy duty eczema stuff. I haven't really gotten that many hives ever since I started using this. I think because it's like sort of antiseptic, it kind of helps you from getting the hives because the hives are, is like from a bacteria that's like on your skin. I still have eczema. It's not great. It's okay. My skin is dry still, but I haven't had hives as much this month, which is pretty cool, which I'm digging. This cream has been helping. So another thing that was like a favorite for the month in March was my new computer. Uh, I'm not gonna take a picture of it cause like it's just gonna be a picture of a hull. These are all the specs. I'll also put them down below so you guys can check that out. But basically I needed a new computer. I was using Eddie's iMac, which was like nine years old from 2009. So it's like eight years old. It's an old, old computer. Um, and you might've seen that in my apartment tour, the video that I did. Uh, last week, but basically that computer was like getting real old. It was chugging. It was it would take like a good 10 minutes to start up And if I wanted to uh, render or export a video, even if it was like a five-minute video It would still take like half an hour to 45 minutes and then for a 20-minute video It would take like two to four hours. I wanted to upgrade my computer to something that would be more powerful but when I was looking at the Apple products for the kind of computer that I wanted slash needed it would have cost me $3,000 which like I don't know about you, but I don't have three grand lying around anywhere. I'm I'm pretty broke. I got this computer, which had the same specs of a $3,000 computer, but cost me $1,500, which was pretty solid. And shout out to my friend Dan, who works at Canada Computers, who helped me out um, to build this computer. Like, he like built this computer for me. It was like pretty legit. It plays League of Legends smoothly. Editing photos is a dream. Editing videos is a dream. I'm also using Premiere instead of Final Cut, which was the editing software that I was using before. The only reason why I was using Final Cut was because it was on Eddie's computer and he owned it when he was in broadcast school. It's basically like Final Cut 7, which is what I was using before, but like better. Whereas like the new Final Cut X is much like iMovie, which I hated. I just didn't find it very functional. So I'm a big fan of Premiere. I guess, you know, the computer and Premiere is like my favorite for the month. I'm really pumped about this computer. Like I'm just like, this is the first computer that is like really powerful, I can game on and I can finally play Maple Story. I haven't really been playing it much lately just because I've been so busy, but for the month of March, I like grinded real hard. So I don't know if you guys know what Maple Story is. It's basically a 2D game, which is super, super cute. And I got to reconnect with one of my old friends from when I was like 14 who used to play Maple Story with me. And like, he's from New Zealand. So that was really cool to like hang out, or not hang out, but like play online again with him. So that was kind of cool. And I've been playing League of Legends with Eddie because Eddie was like really sad that I was playing Maple Story and not playing League of Legends with him. So also random thing, someone who watches my videos was playing with me in a game. Cause like my, my username is the Viet Vegan. You guys can add me if you want. You maybe give me a heads up in the comments so that I'm like, who's this random person adding me? Um, if you guys play League of Legends, feel free to add me. Not that I like, I only ever play Aram and you're welcome to play Aram with me. I'm not terrible, but I'm not great. Yeah, someone was like 
the Viet vegan because you're Viet and you're vegan. And like, I wasn't sure if they were just kind of like repeating my username back at me or if they were saying my intro back at me. But I was just like, yes. And they're like, as in the YouTuber, and I was like, yeah, that's me. But I think that they thought I was joking, but it was actually me. And they reached out to me on Twitter, or no, on Instagram afterwards, because I tweeted about it, because I thought it was like so cool. So shout out to the Vigar in that game. That was a good game. The next thing I want to mention, I should have mentioned earlier, is my air fryer. I got it, I got this at the very end of March, but holy crap, this has like changed my life. So if you guys don't know what an air fryer is, it's basically a mini convection oven. It's like a small convection oven and there's like a little drawer. This is where you put, oh, it's dirty. There's cheese in here, well, vegan cheese. And it basically circulates really hot air, but you can reheat like Gardein products. Like I did like the Gardein's um, fishless fillets and they were like super, super crisp, but also moist and tender in the middle. Sorry if you guys don't like the word moist. It was, oh my God, so good. And then I uh, air fried potatoes, which normally takes about like half an hour, but I did it in this for 15 minutes. I did the same thing with Brussels sprouts. I've done it with broccoli. Again, it takes 15 minutes instead of half an hour, which is awesome. And so I've been eating a lot more veggies because of it. I'm definitely gonna be using that. It's gonna be great. And the last thing I wanna mention for my favorites for the month are kind of more like TV shows and stuff. So I want to give a shout out to three different shows. The first one is The Blacklist. I don't know if you guys watch that show at all. It's like, I think on the third season. I just caught up on Netflix like the last season or so. I really just dig it. Like I really like Elizabeth Keene. I like Tom Keene and their weird relationship. I just like love James Bader. Like he is hilarious. Like he's just like so good in the show. Like if you guys haven't seen The Blacklist, it's kind of like one of those secret spy crime lord kind of show, I don't know how to describe it, but it's pretty cool, I like it. A lot of conspiracies, a lot of different kind of elements to it, and I just like the character. Like it's just, I think it's a pretty well-written show, so go check that out. Another show that I wanna mention is Love. It's a Netflix show. I watched the first season last year, and it was really interesting because the first season was all about like debunking the idea of like the nice guy stereotype and like how nice guys are actually kind of dicks. They're not actually nice guys, and so that was the premise sort of of the first season. And then the main character, she has addictions and she is dealing with a lot of emotional issues and she's like very, very flawed, but in a way that I can sort of relate to, like she's kind of a jerk, but like there are some elements of her that I like, yeah, I feel that. She's like a love and relationship addict, which I can sort of really relate to because I don't know if you guys have realized or if you guys care. I write, I talk about this on my blog sometimes, but I basically jumped from one long-term relationship to another for like nine years. There was like a couple months in interspersed where I was, in between relationships. I can understand her need for being in a relationship and being like emotionally attached to somebody. So that was like kind of raw and like really interesting to watch. The favorite of the month is the second season because the second season has gotten a lot more deeper. She kind of like comes to realize a lot of her problems and how she must address them and that kind of stuff. I recommend watching that show if you have not watched it already. And my third favorite show, of the month, Big Brother Canada. I'm not ashamed that I like reality TV, but I just like am fascinated by people and I'm just fascinated by Big Brother. I've been watching it since Big Brother, I think 14 or 15? I think Big Brother 14. So that was like maybe three years ago that I started watching Big Brother. It's basically like just really seeing people put to their limits and how they treat each other, how they play a game. This season has been hilarious and ridiculous and I love it. If you guys don't watch Big Brother, maybe give it a try. The Big Brother US is like a lot more like true to like what the actual game is, whereas like Big Brother Canada has a lot of twists that like screw over players a lot. So they're both excellent shows. My dream job, honestly, would be editing those shows. Both shows are really, really cool if you are fascinated by people and how they work and what makes them tick definitely watch this it like the big brother series it's basically a survivor but in a house so there's a lot of like teamwork there's strategy there's manipulation it's just like hilarious i just i love it that pretty much wraps up my march favorites i know it's super late i will try to be more on time for my april one if you guys like these sort of kind of chill talking favorite type videos please give this video a like let me know in the comments if you have tried any of these things that i mentioned in my favorites do you watch big brother do you like reality tv i also just discovered the real housewives of toronto and i didn't expect to like it but it's just like hilarious. Like the amount of privilege is unreal. Let me know what kind of things that you liked out of my favorites. What are some of your favorites for the month? I love hearing from you. I love talking to you guys. As you guys know, I, I respond to almost every comment if I can. 
and same goes for my Instagram, Snapchat, DMs, Twitter, all that jazz. I never expected this to happen, but more and more people have been kind of like coming up to me and be like, hey, are you a vegan? Like, I feel like you guys know this by now, but I'm just like a regular person who happens to film a part of my life and my cooking to share with you guys. I am so thankful that you guys are so cool and so awesome and you, you like a lot of the same things that I do and that you enjoy my videos and then you spend a part of your day watching my videos like that's just super super cool to me thank you guys so much for subscribing thank you for being a part of my little little community of awesomeness and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you guys so much for watching and i hope you guys have a delicious day bye